Imagine my phone falls down into the fuel tank. Yeah. I don't know. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Welcome to Cringe Fest. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome to episode one of the first ever series that we're doing on this car. We're actually not get <clears throat> having a rough day. We're doing a series of tuning the 370Z. We're gonna we're walking through everything that we need to do before tuning day. So welcome to episode one, but we gotta do a few things before that. And the three and two and one. <laughs> So I gotta add a little more to the list, but for today we're going to We're not tuning yet. We're not doing the oil change yet. We're not fixing the oil. Well, we could do that, but we're mainly doing fuel pump, baby All right, so as you guys can see over there, I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. It's about a freaking storm day two baby and believe it or not it's just like yesterday super cloudy but it is not gonna rain so for today's first episode we're going into the most important thing and that is a brand new upgraded fuel pump so in case you're wondering what fuel pump i went with i actually have the walbro 255 which is basically the same size as stock i was looking at z1 motorsports and it says that the stock 255 that the car would come with does around 132 liters or 35 gallons per hour while the Walbro high pressure fuel pump will flow 210 liters or 50 uh, gallons per hour. So we're definitely going to get a little bit of horsepower and this is going to be better overall. And in case you're thinking why I haven't changed it, if you're not really caught up with the channel, which by the way, why are you not? My actual uh, stock fuel pump top hat broke. So I don't really know how much gas I have in my tank. And there's possibility that I could catch on fire, especially on the dyno. We don't want that to happen, so we got a new one with the slight upgraded fuel pump, so we're gonna put that in. So I actually have already done this to my car. If you guys don't remember, Nor, when he was here, we actually tried changing it out, except he gave me the wrong one by accident. He had no idea, but I already did all this. You guys remember what happened. <laughs> right now, we gotta release the pressure from the fuel pump, and you already know what happened last time, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. Just fingers crossed, hopefully, please. All right, so my buddy Brian's coming. He said he has a surprise for me that he did to the car. I'm like, I'm, I know it's an exhaust setup, but he doesn't know. So Brian, if you're watching this, I already knew, bro. But I'm gonna act surprised though. Okay, Brian, you know what happened last time? Yeah. It shot up from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna be on this side. You go over here. Okay. I already knew you, you got an exhaust. I, I already knew. You. <laughs> yeah, mean, have you ever told me? <laughs> no, get out. No, you're lying. When? Yesterday. Hold on. Okay. You're lying. Oh, oh, there was no pressure in the line because the car wasn't turned on. Yes. We're good. We're good, boys. stock fuel pump we basically got to take out all these little bolts on the side i think they're like six mils or eight mils after that we got to move this plate to the side and start the process where we try to take it off it's kind of annoying i already did it once before so i'm not going to show as much but let's get it a little bit of a, a gas might come out not too much though Dude, don't turn around. There are two really weird guys behind you. Oh my god, look at his face. <laughs> Imagine my phone falls down into the fuel tank. <laughs> ah, I hate these little holes. You, it's got like a little weird clamp down here. And it's just like... Oh. Alright, I don't think Brian was recording, but we finally got it out. You literally just don't fight with it too much, but I mean... It's pretty in there, so I mean, just basically clamp this down like that and then just push the hose. A little bit of fuel did come out, thank God I grabbed the rag, but I'm um, not too much. So, we're gonna have to cover this up. And look, my top hat is literally broken. Like, my whole fuel pump assembly is floating right in there. But make sure your o ring does not get any gas on it. That won't be good. Just set it up like somewhere down here, and then we can. Now, this is the annoying part, which is taking out the uh, fuel pump assembly. 
no gosh. Damn, that's really strong now. You like gas anymore? No, no. Not, <laughs> not this one. Not to this extent. I told you. Got it. I gotta connect this one right here. Sean, Sean, this one. This one right here. All right, so this is what a top hat is not supposed to look like. This is what we get it, all right? This is what it's supposed to look like, bruh. And you can see, like in here, if oh god, there it goes. If you like look close in here, you can see like the the fuel pump up here from the top. It's much different from this one here. The upgraded one, like, and there you can't really see him. I'm not gonna take him out, but yeah, bad fuel pump, good fuel pump. And, uh, I'm confused. That's a fuel pump. Really? <laughs> now it's gonna be like, oh, you're looking guys like, like girls. <laughs> I'm confused. Guys like girls. <laughs> girls like guys. Okay. Okay. So I can't like boys? Brian, you just shut up, dude. You just mean it. I know, dude. I don't know. Oh! 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 Wait, hold on. Let's bring a little bit louder. Hey, Siri, no, that, that's, that's literally Bluetooth all the way. Be like, I Bruh. cannot hear you. Send me a text. I'm going to need you to put the ring back on. Careful it doesn't fall in. I'm not. I'm holding it with my dick. Enchanté. So we ran into a slight problem. I don't think we're recording. There is a return line at the top. I'm gonna put up a picture right here, what it's looking like. So we're gonna run to AutoZone. Bad little cap. That should be pretty much it. Fingers crossed, I think. AutoZone sponsoring. How, how's it going? into sort of a uh, problems he's gonna be done for a couple days all right you guys are gonna laugh at this but sadly they turned the old OEM fuel line into the return line and the new AM fitting into the actual uh, fuel line so I literally kept off the fuel line <laughs> that's really bad I could have like drawn in the car thankfully like the rubber thing just shut out and so I gotta cap this now and then this is the new fitting I have to use. Problem is, I don't have any AM fitting adapters. That's why my Desi might be down for a couple days. I gotta order a new one. I was talking to my buddy Alton. He's the one that figured this out with me. This is actually a very commonly used in boosted Zs. The Z that this is coming from was actually supercharged and my friend's is also supercharged. Um, so yeah, they both did the same thing. That's how he knew that they switched out the stock um, fitting for the... Uh, Return line. Yo, I'm gonna have a pretty decent fuel pump after this. I'm actually super excited. It's a little bit of a holdup, but I'm not really in a hurry to drive this car anywhere. Like it's literally gonna get tuned the end of this month. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap everything up. Oh, and you got the carbon fiber tips. No. Just short of my first ever Audi, this is half years. It's a S6. S6. This actually pulls and it looks really clean. I just want to get the front end because it looks so aggressive from the front. Right, with that new bumper?
Pop the hood real quick. I want to show the engine. This is the weirdest engine, but I didn't know every out. Is every Audi like this sort of? I had to take the car off. So it, it looks good. Like I love how it looks, but I had to take the car off because oh, yeah. I was doing something. So then just like the turbos are on top here, and it, like oh, I have the. Oh what? It's called a hat V because the turbos are actually mounted on the top of the engine. I don't so is every Audi like this? Is it like nah, an Audi? Not all of them. No? Just like um it's the so weird. couple models, but not all of them. It's aggressive, Actually I have a boost gauge, so like I could just go down here. Boost gauge. Or on the left side. Is that the That's a launch control Launch so control, yeah. So it sets so like if you move a little bit when you're like trapping. You could just move and then you stop and it will actually know like it's like ready and you just press the brake Hold the gas all the way down and it does oh, that. that's cool. Can, Can you, you do roll? rolling? Anti-lag? Yeah. No, not yet. Once I tune, yes. Alright, it is currently current day. Thank you guys so much for watching episode one of the current series that we're gonna be doing with 370Z. I'm gonna try to pump these out at least one a week until uh, tuning day. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to my friends for helping out, and it was really fun. Hey, after editing this video, I actually liked it. It was super fun. Hope you boys enjoyed. Smash that like, subscribe, and sorry the quality is really bad, and I look horrible right now. I kind of just woke up, but have a good. <laughs>